Hey everybody, Jason Lee here, and I'm excited to bring you some new training in an interview style format today with none other than Robert and Sherry Blackman. And uh, how you guys doing? Good, good morning. Doing great, Jason, how you doing? Awesome, I I'm doing epic. How was your Christmas? I'm glad it's over, it was good, but. <laughs> it's great having the uh, kids sleep in, yes. so till 10 or noon, so we can actually spend some time together alone. Not so that's been to fun. Not having yeah. kids to school is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it, it, it's been, so we were chatting a little bit before we started this video. We have kids that are the same age, mm -hmm. and um, once they're in school, you kind of get acclimated to that, and then once the Christmas break starts, you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on around here? But it's, <laughs> it's really nice having them around, you know, when, when you don't get it as often. So it, it really is. Yeah. But uh, I'm really excited about today's topic because I know you guys are experts at direct mail, direct response marketing, and I really wanted to um, introduce that to the Rocket Recruiting membership members. <clears throat> and I, I couldn't think of anyone better to, to talk about it than the two of you. Uh, I know you've been around the industry for quite some time, spoken on stage at uh, Eric Worre's event at GoPro, um, and done a number of things. And so I, I'm, uh, we're honored to have you, uh, first off. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank We're honored you. to be here. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, I'm really excited to get into this. So if you're cool, we'll just we'll just dive right in. And mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we can just kind of play back and forth. And you guys can if you want to add something. Um, I know we chatted before. Uh, you know, I hate to script things because right. I, I think it's it, it's really good for the audience to hear what's what's on your minds. Mm -hmm. Because you've you've heard probably every question in the book, right? Yeah, there's probably nothing new that surprises you, and so, <laughs> and, and so if uh, uh, before before we started the video, you mentioned talking about warm and cold market. Uh, so before I ask you a couple of questions that I kind of did uh, think of that that I thought people might want to know, if you could just just talk about those two subjects uh, to kick us off. Okay, well, you know, Sharon and I, you know, have a warm market like everybody else. Uh, we we ruined it. Or blew through it like everybody else. We didn't know how to talk to family and friends. We were afraid. The NFL um, club, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, and so you know, I had a printing background, and so Sherry, you know, we and I went into our printing business, decided to run advertisements, do card decks, direct mail, and so we built a new warm market, is what we did. Yeah, uh, and we really kind of kept away from our friends and family at that point. So, uh, and and I think for for me, and I'll just use my perspective, and I'll throw it to Sherry. The biggest challenge with warm marketing that people make the mistake is let, let's let's say that you had a yogurt franchise, mm -hmm. uh, and if she and I bought a yogurt franchise, we would contact all of our family and friends to come down and just buy yogurt. Right. We wouldn't be going, hey, come buy a yogurt for if I just sell three franchises, I right. get mine free. And right. so there's a whole. Different, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, you know, we we can put a yogurt franchise in across town on Main Street. And, you know, and then, you know, I'm a third of the way there getting my hundred grand back. It's hey, money, sis, yeah. come on down and invest. Just, uh, yeah. that's right. Just exactly. Invest so, into my yogurt business. <laughs> exactly. So, so when you, when you frame it like that, and that's what we've done, we've decided that, well, instead of just making a list of a hundred family and friends and calling them one time mm -hmm. and maybe getting hold of 15 people, that we would mail a postcard yeah. to our warm market every month, like we owned a franchise and mm -hmm. say, Hey, you know, you're a friend of ours, come down. You know, it's it's mocha chocolate yeah. Saturday. Come to get ten percent off. You know, if you bring this email. Come try our yoga. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And So, and so that's kind of that old retail to recruit. Yes. It's easier to get a customer than a distributor, and it's okay to mail your family and friends every month, but it's not okay to call them every month. Right. And that's the distinction that we've used in direct mail. That's true. You too. Yeah. Yes, that's what we've seen, and I love that point about making it where. We're not going to try to, hey, you know, if we had three franchises across town, I love that. <laughs> but telling them uh, on a weekly basis or every other week, hey, we're having a special with Mocha or we're having a pistachio. Right. That, that retail recruit is the true way to get them in the front door to, you know, introduce them. Then let them question you. Let the question right. come from them, not to you pushing it, but from them going, hey, what do you do? How, how did you come about this? What did, how did this all work out? And that way that gets them through to us. Yeah. yeah. Works the best. Yeah. That's really good. And uh, also I think, so I can already hear the questions that are probably coming up in people's heads. Um, 
when you send a piece of mail out to somebody, so let's use your yogurt franchise as an example. <laughs> right. Um, what does that piece of mail look like? Does it, mm -hmm. is it a postcard? Does it, <clears throat> is it on a sheet of paper that goes in an envelope? What does that look like? Well, it's, it's kind of a two-step system. We, we send out a letter the first time in a, in a window envelope. Mm -hmm. And it'll say, hey, Jason, uh, you know, Sherry and I have just started a business. We're very excited about it. Um, and um, we know, uh, we don't know if you'd like to be interested or not, but we know you know the right kind of people that would. Would you do us a favor? Would you watch this video and get back to us and tell us who we should talk to? So what it's kind of the introduction letter? Yeah. It's just an introduction of what we're doing, what's going on. Keep them abreast. Hey, this is something new. Mm -hmm. Can you help us? Do you yeah. have some? You know some people. I know you're smart. You you have some people you might know who might be interested as well. So start yeah. with an introduction letter. That's yeah. right. And then that letter, the 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 phrasing of the letter is that we're asked actually asking for referrals. Then say, hey, Jason, you know, we just started a business, you know, it's $500. I want you to get in by yeah. Friday, you know, so I say, hey, you know, Jason, <laughs> you, know, or not, you know, here's a video. Tell us who we should talk to. Then what we do is, is we try to mail those letters. You know, let, let, let's just say we had 100 people. We mail 25 letters a week. Yeah. And then that next week we call, you know, we mail 25. So, on, you know, if you wanted to do it Monday through Friday, you call five people a day. So I would call you and say, hey, Jason, this is Robert. Did you get Sherry and I's letter? Yeah. And this is, this is Jason friend. Like yeah, friend. Jason, you. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah like right? it's you. Yeah, Jason, yeah. you. Yeah. And, and so say, you know, so our first question is, did you get the letter? Yes, I did. Did you get a chance to watch the video? Well, it's either yes or no. And mm -hmm. if you did, then we would go, well, great. Who do you think Sherry and I should talk to? Right. And about 50% of the time, people will go, well, what about me? Well, me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Cur I'm curious now. Yeah, well, so, well, I didn't know if you'd be interested, and we were just looking for referrals for our yogurt business, That's right. okay? Right, right. And, and so, and if they say, no, I haven't watched it, you know, well, then what would be a good time for you to take a look at it, and then I want you to watch it with the idea of who we should contact about our new business and our new product line that we have. Yeah. And they go, oh, well, great, then, because they're your friend. You know, can you right. do me a favor? So yeah. that's what, it's, it's the do me a favor letter. Yeah. And so then that's stage one. And stage two is then we know everyone has a window of opportunity. All right. Yeah. Uh, at least once a year. So what we do is we mail monthly a postcard as a follow up that will show a picture of us. So they know it's from Robert and Sherry. Uh, they see our website on there. And if we, and let's say that we magically had 12 flavors of yogurt. Then and we would, yeah. Yeah. That, then we would promote a different flavor of the month. Are you Bring in your postcard, you get 10% off, right. one, you know, flavor of the month. Or so the, the picture of you guys on the postcard, it's a healthy family-oriented picture. It's not the two of you hurling bricks of cash in the air. No. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've seen those, right? Like the, yeah, yeah, they show yeah. up and it's the cow with, with somebody milking the cow and cash is coming out of the, the, the milk, it's whatever they call it, the milk or whatever. Yeah, who yeah. does that? Yeah, yeah it's it's a, a, these are our family and friends and right, people right. we go to church with, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. their yeah. kids' soccer team, exactly. you know, neighbors. And so we'll have someone that'll come up to us and say, hey, I've been getting your postcard. You guys really seem to be into this. It seems to be working for That's you. Right. And, you know, can you know, can we try the product or can you tell us more? So it's that that's the attraction part of it. Again, yeah. if you had a yogurt business, we would get a hundred people a month coming down buying yogurt every month getting referrals from them three exactly. to five people so that would expand exactly. to 300 to 500 and and really working the business like that to begin right. with so so everybody understands that and and nobody's lost the yogurt business is a metaphor for their network yeah. marketing business that's we right don't have a yogurt business. yeah yeah right, right, we right, don't right, own right. a yogurt business we <laughs> eat yogurt yes yes <laughs> i like to close i like to try to close the gaps you know, yeah. just, just in case we don't want to leave anybody right. behind but, and then the letter, right? The letter is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You mm -hmm. try fold it, plop it in. The envelope. The envelope. You said there's a window on the envelope. You, you sent do a window, on whatever you have that's available okay. to you. It doesn't have to be just a window. If you just have this regular, you know. Because most people, and I, and I was mailing out letters yesterday, yeah. have them like this. There's no yeah, apartment. Exactly. Just hand address it. Hand address it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And to even hand address it, I think it makes it even more personal. Yeah, you it know, does. Yeah. That they can. Yeah. Well, all you have to do is go to your phone, 
and you text everybody that's on your contact, say, hey, I'm creating a mailing list. You know, I need your mailing address. Or, hey, right. if, if yeah. you feel uncomfortable with that, hey, I'm updating my, I just got a new phone, I'm updating information. Could you text me back your address? I'm updating <clears throat> my phone or whatever. Just to get that, if you don't have it already with friends and family, just say, hey, I'm updating, got a new phone, updating all my information, I need your address. Yeah. Make sure you now, ask for the address, not just information, because nine times out of 10, anybody just sends you your phone, their phone number right. or email address, right. not their physical address. Right. Now, cost of this is stamp. That's it, right? That's yeah, it. The stamp. And, and the so cost of, the and, and the cost of buying a box of these, right? Which yeah. Is, Six, which eight bucks. Right. Yeah. 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 So, um, what's your recommendation? Because I know so, some people were probably thinking this, and, and you've tested this, Robert, I know. So when you have like a window, right? Mm -hmm. Statistically, what's the, what's the open rate on a, on a piece of mail that you don't know who it's from? Well, if you don't know who it's from, I mean, everyone does goes to the mailbox and you, you bring your mail in. Okay. Yeah, you get, yeah. you get the table, you have an A pile and a B pile. The A pile is stuff that we know it's like our electric bill. Right, uh, right. Something from the kids' school. The it's got to get open. Right. Yeah, B piles, junk mail, junk mail. Then Sherry comes in, she gets the mail, and I go, yeah, the two piles are over there. Uh -huh. She goes through the junk, throws it away in the recycle, and then we disperse in our little file cabinets bills or announcements or whatever. Right. Yeah. And, and friends, warm market mail will yeah. get open. Because if, if you put return address here mm -hmm. and it's Robert and Sherry, yeah. and it's yeah. going to your friend, they're going to open your mail. It's 100% open. 100%. 100%. And just like we talked about, if there's a real stamp on it, if it's been handwritten, uh, yes, you can use window and have it all pretty nice and neat, but a handwritten, is, I think it's open nine times out of ten, out, especially yeah. if it's a, um, a stamp on it. If you yeah. see that it's been that, you know, that prepaid, blah, blah, you know, you can tell that it's probably just junk mail, you know, somebody maybe handwritten, but you can always tell by the stamp that it's, hey, somebody took the time to put a stamp on it, they wrote my name. I maybe probably should open this because that's yeah. me. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, so um, we we call them barriers to sale, right? So you can you can start at if you forget to put a stamp on your letter and you send it out, there's barrier number one. You're not gonna yeah. you're not yeah. gonna stand a prayer, right? Because this thing's yeah. gonna get if you <laughs> yeah. leave your if you leave your uh, return address off of here, you don't put a, you're done, right? And right. you don't put a stamp and you don't put a stamp. Toast. This thing's gone forever. Right. But. Right. The second is they get it in their hands. Second barrier is they got to open this thing and pull it out and read what's on it, right? And then the message has to be clear and concise. So exactly. yeah. the, the message on that letter that's going to a friend, does it, uh, you mentioned the video. You want the friend to watch a video. So mm -hmm. preferably a third party tool, I'm guessing. Right. Yes. yes. So whatever their, and correct me if I'm wrong, whatever their company presentation video is, Mm -hmm. is what in the letter you would have them check out. That's right. Okay. That's right. And you know, check with your upline and say, look, I want to contact 100 of my family and friends. What's the best video to send to them? Is right. it a product one? Is it a service one? Is it about the opportunity? Is it a combination one? You know, which one is working best for you? So go to your working, you know, the, up, the most successful upline that's done this or done something similar. And they'll tell you, oh, no, don't use that video. Use this one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and I will, and this is a little bit more advanced, but I think it's an important thing to note. If, because there's a lot of people out there that they don't have videos mm -hmm. to share because either their companies don't create good videos or any at all, and they, op they operate on a different model for prospecting, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are videos on YouTube that you can go find that will work, especially to um, sell the profession, the network marketing yes. profession. But right. you got to be careful, and because there are videos out there that will do that, but the people that publish those videos, their goal is to get the visitor into their process right. and yeah. sell them on their company. So you just need to make sure and check the links in those videos and watch the video all the way from front to f finish mm -hmm. and make sure it's generic and it's not bias towards whatever their intention was when they posted it. Yeah. And that's the only challenge sending someone to YouTube is that, you know, you'll show up, you know, videos that they recommend and on the right side and people get distracted. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah. So that's why it's important. If your company has one embedded into Use your rep, yes. you know, replicated yeah. website, 
go to the tools section in your members uh, back office. They usually have they usually there. something. And if not, then we have other people that will put in a brochure. Like we have yeah. one company that's got a weight loss. Mm -hmm. It's twenty nine ninety five for a thirty day supply. So they put a brochure in for the weight loss product. Yeah, uh, but, with an order form on the back. Or if they don't even have that, have them contact you back. You yeah. know, put make sure you put your phone number on there. Put your email address. Text me if you have any questions. You know. Yeah. So if they don't have that ability to use a video. Yeah. And I used a bad example because Rocket Recruiting has videos that sell the network marketing profession, right? Yeah, but, you could use those. Yeah, yeah. reverse but, that. But, but you, you make a good point. It's always better, I think, to use your in-house stuff if it, if it converts and it, it works well. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. And needs like to, and use the, ask them. Ask your upline. Find yeah. out what, which ones they've used, gotten re response on, what works best. Yeah. But, but make sure it's in the letter to your warm market. That's right. Yeah. So step one is the letter. And so again, the idea would be we've got a hundred family and friends. We mail 25 letters a week this week. And next week we call those 25 people back. You follow with the idea, yeah. With the idea. And this is what we tell all of our members, the likelihood of the person you're looking for out of those first hundred is nil. Yes. You're looking for their people. Right. Okay. And, and so the likelihood of where you're going to find that next leader isn't from your 100. It's from those three that they give you or that 300. Because then let's say that Sherry is your friend, Jason, okay, yeah. and you're my friend. And I go, hey, Jason, did you get my letter? Yes. Did you get a chance to watch the video? Yes. Well, who do you think I should talk to? You say, well, you know, I was in, uh, my wife was in XYZ Company with Sherry. Give Sherry a call. Right, right. So I call Sherry. Hey, Sherry, my name is Robert. You don't know me. But Jason referred you to me. Right. He said that you might be someone to be interested. I've started a business, blah, blah, blah. So she's nice because she knows you. I sent her information. So after she hangs up the phone, what's the first thing Sherry's going to do? She's going to call you and go, Jason, who's this Robert guy? Yeah. And you go, man, I'm what's going on? I went to high school with Robert. I went to college with him. I used to work with him. He's a cool guy. I'm just really busy. I know he's got a business. He was looking for people. Hope you're okay with us. Oh, great. So then when I meet with a cup of coffee with her, I get her on a conference call, a webinar, she doesn't know all the crazy stuff you and I did in college together. Right, right. She's you not know? gonna prejudge you because she doesn't yeah, know. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. so that's, that's yeah. why when, I, when we work with our people, say, look, your first hundred, we're just gonna blow through these first hundred and the likelihood of finding anybody is gonna be zero. Well, how many people could I sponsor? I go, none. You might get a few customers, but we're yeah. looking for their list. And so then that's a paradigm shift for them. So then the stress is off. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. we mail 25, we, the next Monday, we call five people together and four of them say no, but one of them says yes. They're going, wow, I got more than, I, than you expected. And so we work through that every week for the first four weeks and then we blow through your warm market list. Then starting with month two, we mail a postcard. So that's our system of how we penetrate the warm market, understanding that it's a constant contact. Yes. It's not yeah. a one-time, you know, Shot across the bow. I hope the timing's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and that's what happens to people. They contact a few family and friends. They go, they're stuck in the water. They don't have anybody new to talk to. I already talked to Sherry. She said no. I left six messages for Jason. He hates me now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know he's not even liking my, my pictures on Facebook anymore. You know, right. so I've run Jason off. So just treating it as a professional. Again, back to that yogurt shop example. If we had yogurt overhead, we got to pay for it. Yes. And we're going to go to our family and friends and their family and friends to get customers in. And that's the whole philosophy. But you yeah. also have to remember, it's. <clears throat> I think your best explanation of this is you're spreading a virus. So mm -hmm. even your first 100, if you just touch them and they go, oh my God, you have a yogurt shop. Well, yeah. I had no idea. I don't eat yogurt or I haven't tried yogurt or whatever, but that person, that first 100 guy may come back to you in six months ago. I keep seeing all this stuff. I never really did anything about it, but I keep seeing you guys doing all this great yogurt. You know, now I'm interested. I'm, 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 you know, I'm interested. What's going on? So yeah. not only will that, it'll grow. It's just like, like, it's a virus. Virus. It's like the flu, <laughs> like, the, like the flu. Yeah, no, it is. It, Maybe it, not the best example because we don't want the flu. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, and, and we want to infect people with the network marketing virus. Yes. And some people, some people are immune. They've taken a network marketing shot. And they go, Ooh. you yeah. know, whether they be haters or they are closed minded or yeah. whatever. So again, we, we want to set this up as it's continual marketing to our number one asset that we have. And that's the people that we know. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm in my 50s. So I've got 50 years 
of an asset of people that I can contact. Why do I want to call them one time, leave a voicemail, and, and never it. tap into that again? So yeah. this that's the best way to use direct mail and more marketing yes. as far as what we've seen. Yeah. Wow. Powerful. Yeah. And I think uh, it, it's, it, and you probably experienced this, leaders in an organization, they aren't found at the first level. They're found right. usually five to 10 generations deep from what I've seen. Yeah. And so your ability to penetrate the warm market is critical if you it want is. to have success with your warm market at all. Exactly. That's and, right. Uh, everybody runs out of people to talk to. It happens. Yep. You know? yep. So, but if you know how to work depth in the warm market, you can make that last a very, very long time. Right. Correct. That's right. So, yeah. And, and so in stuff. essence, you, you go to your warm market to get to your cold market, which is your warm markets, warm market. Right. We don't but, know them yet. But you're so, constantly, you're constantly um, keeping the triangle of trust intact. Correct. That's right. So, so you, you mentioned Robert that, um, you know everything about me. If we were buddies in college, you knew yeah. a month ago I was doing keg stands at the last <laughs> frat party we were at, right? Right, And yeah. so you're like, Jay came to me with a business idea. Yeah. This dude don't know nothing about business. You know? right. I yeah. know what he was doing last month. Right? He knows yeah. the business yeah. of keg stands. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. It was a but, keg business, I would understand it. Yeah. Right. But my friend Tim, who doesn't know you, right? Or if, or your friend, Tim, who doesn't know me, mm -hmm. if you tell Tim, I'm a great guy. And then Tim comes to me. He doesn't know if I was doing cake stance or not. No, no. All he knows is I'm a great guy and I've got a business opportunity. Right. Yeah. So the third right. party referral and a third party referral is stronger than, a, than your personal list. Yes. When it comes to that. And that's what people don't understand. It's not your hundred that you're wanting. It's that 300 to 500. That's the three to five referrals from those hundred. That's going to get you to where you want to go. Yeah. And uh, I'm a big, big fanatic of, of reading. And I think everybody that's probably watching this video is an avid reader. Most of them anyway. Um, a, a great book to go along with this. I just thought of is by Bob Berg called endless referrals. Mm -hmm. And it applies very much to, to the strategies. You're yeah. That's a great book. Yes. Yeah. Um, so what's the difference between, cause there's, there's a lot of terminology out there and I don't want to get into deep definitions on stuff cause that's not why we're here to talk. But if someone hears the, the phrase direct response or direct selling, how, how are those different from direct mail? Mm -hmm. You know, cause I'm sure someone's going to ask like, well, how is that different from direct response or direct, right. uh, direct sales? Well, direct mail to us is just how we will specifically get our message out to our prospects, yes. whether that be our warm market or our cold market. Yeah. And we do direct mail in both of those. So we're getting our message out to people with direct mail. Yeah. Direct response is where someone has directly inquired off one of our social media sites, right. a landing page. Uh, a voicemail so they're Text, yeah they're, they're they're directly responding back to us to get they're completing the communication chain correct that's right yeah yeah so that's the main difference between direct response and and also um direct mail direct selling some people call the network marketing profession direct selling you know referral marketing there's been you know there's a hundred taglines of what we are yeah. besides multi-level marketing yeah. you know so so direct selling to us is just a, a, a synonym, another, term. another yeah. term of network marketing. Yeah, no, I think a lot, a lot of people confuse um, them for the same thing, even though they're not. Network marketing is a form of direct selling. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. But I know a guy here in town, he's the number one Kirby vacuum salesman in oh, all of right. eastern yep. Washington. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's, a, yep. he's a direct yep. salesman. Right. Yep. Direct he goes door to door, you know. Yep. And the guy, the guy makes about four hundred and fifty thousand a year. He does pretty good. Yeah. 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 Selling Kirby vacuum cleaners, you know. Sure. Still. Yeah. 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 But it's a form of direct sales. Yeah. Exactly. Correct. Yes. Correct. Um. So, what are some resources? Um. And then, and then we'll, we'll. I think we'll end the video for today. What are, what are some resources a person can go tap into to launch their first direct mail campaign? Is it like? Um, is there a place they can go to find out like what to write or maybe they want to send um, a postcard, how they can get a postcard mm -hmm. built or designed if they need to, if they don't know how to do that? Yeah, what we'll be happy to do is provide you with generic versions of the letter and a postcard and give them to you so you can attach them in the back. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
so then everyone and and you know we, we didn't we didn't discover this ourselves we got it from our older upline yeah of what they did uh and um back when uh, people didn't want to do hotel meetings anymore so they mailed right. that's where we learned that and since we we're in the direct so we'll provide a sample letter it's okay. all generic postcard. Uh, yeah. and a sample postcard uh that they can just plug and play and put it in there so they'll get an idea and then we started with just our laser printer. Our, we actually had an inkjet printer. Back in the day, yeah. Back you can day. go get, what is it, Avery or mm -hmm. something, Avery style, four up postcards that are perforated that you can tear off. Yeah, four by six, I think, right? Yeah, yeah four by six. Or you go down to Kinko's. You know, yeah. I mean, they're going to be more expensive. Yeah, uh, and you don't have a printer. And there yeah, are I, also other um, people you could use that are online that can make them for you. Use your pictures right. that you have yep. to, that can do all that mailing for you online as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I always like to tell people, hey, if, if you're on a shoestring budget, right, and you've got no friends that have printers or whatever, <laughs> right. you can go, no matter where you live, you can go to your local library and get Correct. a library card. And you can use their computers there, and you can print to right. your heart's that's content. Right. Yep, that's, that's right. So, so there's that's plenty correct. of free way. And if you're going to school, for sure, you can use your college Definitely. or whatever to do it there too. Yes, so. that's right. That's yeah. good. That's a good one to remember. Yeah. Yeah. So your local library. But but I'll I'll finish with this. So what we what we would do is we'd get our hundred. Yeah. And then say out of the hundred, after thirty days, we find five people. Whether they're out of our hundred or a referral, mm -hmm. and we get those five people to duplicate the same thing we did. Yeah, this list of a hundred people, hundred addresses. Let's mail twenty-five letters a yes. week uh, for the next four weeks. You know, it could be fifty letters. If all they got fifty, could be two hundred. Then you adjust it and yeah. do it on a weekly basis. Get on the phone with them, make the calls, and that's how you start rank advancing. Is because you found people who will duplicate within their warm market, and that's right. all we do. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, it's and the money's in the system, you know. It is. So, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was uh, it was an absolute blessing and pleasure to to do this with you guys, and um, hopefully you'll be back for more because I know the the rocket recruiting members are going to be hungry and starving for that, and they're probably going to be really excited to go out and implement some of this stuff that you just talked about. So I want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure uh, Eric is going to be grateful as well. You'll probably hear from him and. Um, right. We're excited to have you back. So thank thanks you. for doing thanks this for with having me. us. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks, Dave. Bye. Bye-bye.